We've come to associate the celebration of St. Patrick's Day with a lot of drinking, but in fact, there's more to it than just that. The holiday would not exist had it not been for a band of marauders who, during the 5th century AD, kidnapped a 16-year-old Welsh boy by the name of Maywin. During the six years that they held him captive as a slave, he came to a religious awakening. He changed his name to Patrick, joined a monastery, and took on a new calling, that of converting his people to Christianity. He did so by founding schools and churches, and within 200 years, Ireland was a Christian country. It's also said that he used the three-leaf clover as a tool to teach the people of the Holy Trinity. St. Patrick died in 461 AD, and the date of March 17th was declared a religious holiday. In Ireland, most businesses remain closed, while pubs and restaurants are open. The St. Patrick's Day custom spread throughout the world, so today we're all Irish. Happy St. Patrick's Day!